Alexander. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. So we've had lots of issues of air quality that has really been the big story here for the last few days, in addition to some pretty hot temperatures as well. So we have some slight good news for today. We should see a, an increase in the air quality as some of that smoke moves out. We're getting a shift in our wind direction, so hopefully that will help to clear things out for us as long as no new fires begin. We'll get to that in just a few minutes, though. So you can see some of the smoke still in the sky up near Great Falls. 53 degrees this morning in the Electric City. In the capital city, you can also see some of the uh, haze in the sky. Kind of an eerie look outside right now and it is 65 degrees pretty warm start in Helena this morning so mentioning air quality there are still a few areas with moderate air quality with all of these yellow dots Dylan actually in the unhealthy for sensitive groups level this morning uh, but that could be due to all of the wildfires that are in Idaho pretty close to Dylan but for the most part today, we should see a, an increase in the air quality. Some of that smoke starting to move out. You can see this high pressure ridge that's been over Montana the last few days starting to move off to our east. And we're getting a shift in the wind direction and lower pressure, which should help to clear out some of the smoke that's been building up for the last few days. And that's going to bring us some more windy conditions as well. So lower pressure means windier conditions usually. This. Uh, shift in the wind direction is going to bring us kind of a twofold situation. So hopefully clearing out skies, but also we have a red flag warning, also known as a fire weather warning for lots of areas in the state. Now this is through today and uh, through tonight for most areas. So midnight tonight, technically tomorrow morning. So most of the state is going to be seeing those low humidity levels, high wind gusts and very hot temperatures. Not as hot as it has been the last few days. We are going to get a slight uh, relief in those temperatures, highs up in the 80s for today, but we are going to see a lot more high winds, which dries things out and helps to increase those fires growth. So looking at the radar this morning, there is a little bit of moisture moving through central Montana near Lewistown, but things are going to stay generally dry for central Montana today. We're not going to get a lot of uh, rainfall. There is going to be some uh, isolated thunderstorms through southern Montana moving through eastern Montana this afternoon and evening. That evening uh, pop up at uh, thunderstorm activity and then tomorrow uh, northern and north central Montana are going to get some of those isolated thunderstorms including Great Falls the capital should stay dry for tomorrow then on Sunday we're going to see more clear conditions into the beginning of next week so I mentioned today that the highs are going to be slightly cooler than they have been the last few days we've been up in the 90s for a few days today 80s for the highs the mid to upper 80s for most areas in north central Montana Montana and central Montana that is still pretty warm especially considering those winds kind of blowing that hot air at you makes it feel pretty uncomfortable but it is still a break nonetheless this weekend we are going to continue to see some cooler temperatures that rainfall the isolated thunderstorms in the north central part of the state for tomorrow as well Sunday is going to be even cooler temperatures in the 70s but then for the beginning of next week and into the rest of next week we're going to see that heat gradually building back up temperatures in the 80s for Monday and then by the middle to end of next week high 90s and potentially triple digits now each day there has been a 100 on the seven day forecast but the heat looks like it's going to take longer to build up through the week so it will be kind of a gradual build up in the temperatures as the week goes on next week so enjoying the war the cooler temperatures this weekend while we can because next week is going to be another hot one and of course today looking out for those fire weather conditions. Absolutely. Yesterday afternoon I stepped outside and the winds were it was just so noticeable. Right. The heat that was associated with that wind. And the heat just blowing at you with the wind too. Yeah, just compounding. To see 100 degrees on there is kind of hard to believe. I know, I know. It's, it's there. All right, Katie, thanks so much.